getting the darkness in. See how that, just that one dark thing there is giving it that depth. You can see that the fur is, you know, it, it, it's fur. I'm just getting some dark lines in there. It's getting the depth. These dark bits, they need to be really dark. So don't be afraid of it, you know, just really go for it, really get them in. You know, don't muck about, just get them in. And you can see, he's just given his, you can see now his face looks like it, it's, it is going in there. It's rounded, it's, it's going down and in here. If that was all not dark enough, and it's still not dark enough really, but you can see just doing that, those few marks, you know that his face is going and this will be darker the edge of the light bit will be darker so you can it really does look like it's it's going in these these really these techniques are, are, are really what you'll be needing to learn if you want to do good pictures just get this together and your pictures will always look good and you do see a lot of pictures um, done by other people that they've spent months on. You know that they couldn't possibly have done it if they hadn't spent months on it. And they, they miss these important things. The pictures are great. You can see the work that's gone into it. But they miss these important things that make all of the difference. And I just think it's, it's a bit of a shame, really. This is why I want to try and get across to you that what I've learned and if you if you do things like this uh, I think you'll have a, more fun. I would never want to say to someone I'll show you how to do it and it's going to take you a long time. It's going to take you months. Um, but I, I'm not easily put off. I, I really wanted to do good pictures and uh, I have spent a long time watching videos and trying things out no, because that's that's what I really wanted to do um, and I'm I don't give up you know I, I just don't give up I just keep going um, some people have said I don't know when to give up when I should but <laughs> I just it's not in me it's, it's just you know it's not that something I do just keep at things until I've, until I've got it. Um, but that doesn't suit most people. It won't suit most people, I don't think. But if you know these techniques, just things like that. And other people will tell you that as well. Other, other really... Uh, you know, professional artists. I'm not a professional artist by any means. Um, so as I've probably said to you, I don't really call myself an artist, not really. You know, I didn't go to art college or anything. and I just thought when I had a bit more time, when I, you know, when I got a bit older and had a bit more time, I just, and it's something that I always wanted to try one day. Um, so I just thought, well, yeah, I'll have a go putting these marks in here because they're, qu they're quite important. Um, and I particularly like to learn new things. Um, and this is why I started to do this, actually, because I just thought, well, I've got all these pictures, they're all mounting up. And having to reuse frames, not only because of the cost, but for the space. I haven't got the space to put everything. I haven't got a studio or anything. And um, I, just, I just started to think, oh, I'll do another. yeah, I'll do another picture. Um, I'll, I'll add it with all the others. Um, but what... Um, I was thinking, well, really, 
what's going to happen to those pictures? I'd actually, I've actually offered my pictures to the um, uh, Battersea uh, Dogs and Cats Home, and I've, I've said, you know, when I die, you can have my pictures, <laughs> and you can have the photos now if you want. And they were, they were grateful for them. They'll probably just do a little auction somewhere with them. Um, but what else am I going to do with them? You know, I'm getting older now. What, what, I don't need them. I thought one day I might do an exhibition on my own, but I don't know if I really want to do that actually. It's, it's quite a lot of work to get all that together. And you know, when you go into any of these galleries, they're not really interested in pet portraits. You know, they're, they're not really even interested in human portraits, unless you're outstanding. I, I think my, my human portraits are okay, but I'm not. I haven't really got a style for myself with that yet. Um, but I have been very happy and busy doing animals. And I've done many more animals than humans. See, I could just see that little black bit there. Let me put that in. Just measured it. About a kind of a mental measure there. Those things really help you get the lines right there, you see. Now this line is going to be kind of going up from there. So it's just ending about there. Um, I like those kind of lines there. I like them a lot. Yeah, it needs to be a bit more white in there. Okay. Um, so we've done that now. I'm just going to get this bit in here, I think, um, round here, that I can start her nose. I'd like to start her nose. So I'm just having a good look at this now before I even pick up a pencil. Um, just having a good, really good look at this. So I'm looking at this. That's where her nose starts, just there. That's where it's starting to come out and forward. And this side isn't so discernible because it's got a lot more light on it. When you've got the depth there, this is how you get the features, you see. If, if you've got the light really right in a photo, you, get, you can get all the chance of getting the features in, which takes the flatness away from a picture. Otherwise, everything looks you know, front, front lit and flat, which is another thing entirely. But if you want to capture somebody's character um, or an animal's character, you really need things like this. And you can see that it's kind of going like that, but cat's noses come forward. They don't just go up like ours. They come in and then they go back from here. So this is all out front. So this is why that depth there inside is good. And I'm just gonna put it in. So I've got that little that little bit there, which is just coming up, up just on the inside of that black bit there. That's that's where her nose, that's her little not that's like her little bit. time with this because this is important so we've got that bit there that bit there now that because that's in white I know that 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 dark bit there is going to be here and actually it is it's just there where that mark is there because do you remember when we did the when we did our black and white picture all the white lines, I'll show you up here again. All the white lines on here are going round the dark lines. So you know that that's your, that's your dark line and it's going across here, look. It really does make it easy for you not to get it wrong. And as long as you get these angles in right, they're really good and I'll put this one in here because I might as well.
These are never level either. Hardly ever, hardly ever level. So just get them in. And these are quite level for a, for a cat really, but un unusually. Don't need to do that one so dark. And you can just about see the white line I put there, just at the top of that mark there. So that, I don't know what to bring that, put that in. And then that white line there is outside of her nose, so I'm going to put that in in black. Just very lightly, good enough, because you don't have to go harsh on it. But that, that's where you want her nose coming. There's a great temptation when you're doing noses is to actually make it up. But don't make it up. It'll, it'll spoil it. Just do your animal as it stands. You won't be sorry if you do it like that. And then these bits here, of course, those white lines are literally that. So they're going up. All the black needs to be just behind that white line. Just concentrate on the shape of it, though. Just um, concentrating here. I always go a bit quiet when I'm concentrating. See, I'm just doing this really, really carefully. I'm not rushing this at all because I know from past experience if you think you know how it goes when you're learning um, you know you, you just don't get it right uh, they can end up looking a bit like um, pig's noses nothing wrong with pig's noses but you don't want them on a cat or a dog um, so This is quite, um, yeah, quite dark there. I'm just going to put that in. So if I, I'm here now, so I'm going to be, I'm in the, I'm in the nose mode now, so I'm going to do it. That, because we've left that in between the two white lines either side, know exactly where that's got to go. And it's a little bit rounded. But at this point, you don't need to put in the detail. You just need to get the lines kind of going in the right direction. And I am going to put that in black because it's a, it's again, it's the depth thing. We can we can lighten that up, but it's always good to make sure that that that's going in and that's that's coming out. got quite an even face for a cat actually this it's, it's kind of unusually even and even when you know picking out a picture it's surprising what you what you don't see I just sort of go for the the whole overall effect it has on me really if I like the overall effect it makes me feel think well yeah the light's good in it colors are nice and makes me feel good 
uh, I would go to that. But I'm not really looking at all these details particularly. Not yet anyway, I might do when I get a bit more experience, but um, just putting in the, the darker bits here. That's that's round, that's curved, see? That little bit there is curved. I think that's straight. Straight across. Okay, so now we've got those in. They are light, those lines. Uh, this is darker in here. Got a dark bit in there. Because we're getting in the basics, uh, there's no harm to put, do it in black, I don't think. Because it'll give it a nice, this side particularly, it'll give it a nice depth. Which is what we want. Now, we've got to be careful here, because see where the, the darkness is going up here? Um, it's, it's just very, very slightly over the top of this nose. Uh, that would be so easy to get to get wrong again. To go too far over and so we've got that in and I'm measuring it's ending here so we've got our line in here already so we know it's got to be about that far away and then we've got this other dark line here which we kind of already put in a little bit um, we've got a little bit there that we put in earlier that bit there Tell you what, I'll show you on the picture now. It's good to use the black and white one when you need to check your lines that you that you put on. Um, just sorry, I've got to lean over to, to see it properly. Because I'm not, not at home at the moment, I'm at my mum's, I've got all sorts of things going on here. Um, but I couldn't leave this, I needed to get on with this for your course and I needed to get prepping really. I didn't start this earlier because I really wanted the feedback from everybody really as to what you wanted. I didn't want to give you anything that you weren't going to be happy with or, you know, keen to do. So I kind of waited a bit, thinking that I would get a bit more feedback, but um, that's okay. I mean, it's, it's, in, it's, it's a learning curve for me. And, you know, to, you see, you can't always go by what you would like. So for me, if someone asked me for feedback, I'd be, yeah, I'd give them feedback. I'd tell them what I needed to learn. And yeah, I think it's fantastic. But not everybody is like that. And, you know, I put that survey together. I don't know if you've had a look at it, but um, very, very few people look at that survey. I don't know whether it's because people don't really know who I am or um, whether they just don't like doing surveys or... I really don't know. Um, uh, anyway, I've picked a picture that I know if you do this picture, you'll, you'll gain a lot of experience from it. I didn't really, really particularly didn't want to. I don't know whether I've done the right thing or not here. But I really didn't want to um, do the little patches of fur that many people show you how to do. I could just get into the camera a bit. Of it. Um, I really didn't want to do the little patches of fur practice patches. I thought, well, why not practice on your animal? It's much more exciting. I didn't want to do the little patches of, or just an eye on its own, because, you know, you need the whole context of it, really. And it's much more fun to do a picture and to have, at the end of four weeks, you've got a picture either finished or on, it, on its way, and you've got all the video to help you through to finish it to the end. So... This is why I wanted to pick a picture that you'd be proud of when you finished it. It doesn't look like a beginner's picture. It really isn't a beginner's picture, to be honest. But um, if you think it's too hard, if you didn't, you're not happy with it, 
then you need to let me know that and um, I'll just take it on board. I'll take it on board for my next course. Um, this is why the course is free, really. I need your feedback. I need you to tell me um, how I could make this course better for future people. Um, and, um, well, anything really, any feedback, I'm, I'm happy, happy for it. Anything that's going to help me get a better course together, I'm, I'm, you know, happy with that, into that. Just saw some little bits that needed doing there. Uh, you see, just putting those black bits in there, you can see it makes his face look puffy. Those bits there now puff, puff forward. Okay, so we've got the got the darker bits in there. Come down straight there, and then it's coming out there. That's it. Great. Oh, now just leave it there. Did see it's dark okay. Making that a bit darker there. So seeing that okay yeah as I was saying so I'm at my mum's at the moment so it's I'm working in in areas that I'm I have worked here before but the light particularly was very good yesterday um, it's often not very good here um, it's it's much better in the kitchen actually but I kind of be in the way a bit out there So I can see these, this, we'll do this bit here, that's nice and dark, and then you see we've got this little bit here at the top of the nose here, um, I can just about see where I need to go there, let me just check my picture, I'm checking my lines, I, it's difficult for you to see them on here because they're white, but I can see straight away now, now I'm looking at it, that the black bit there really needs to be um, at the top of this. It's, it's, it's really coming, it's really coming uh, to the other side of this. There. It's quite a strong little mark that, and then we've got another one here on top of that. Yeah, you can actually see it's 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 quite a strong mark, and I've marked both of those areas so that I can actually get it here, and it's it's just there. I'm going to put it in actually because it's a, it's an important little bit that. Down there like that. Yeah, and then that's a bit lighter in there. That dark mark there. And then the other side of that mark, I've got the lightness here. And that's nice, nice and light to the end of the nose. Now you can see how thin that line needs to be. Because if you look at the thickness of this, it's quite thick. Just measuring that there, yeah. That's the white bit there, it's quite a strong white bit there. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna put some more dark there. That's quite a dark blue line actually. 
blue blue pencil over that. That's blue. I've got dark line which you can't see um, because it's on the dark, really dark paper. We've got black line there, and then we've got the the dark blue line that's going to be really just there. What I need to do, I think, now is to um, just colour in her again a bit. So, before I do that, I'm just going to put some white, white over everything. Just to put some base on. That's dark, but it's kind of coming down a little bit. Just to put a bit of base on. Rub it in a bit. And I'm just gonna just build his nose up. Just get some shape in there. Yeah. Okay. Just looking at the lines again on my black and white picture. Okay, so we've got some darkness here. So there's, there is a dark line here. I want to get that in. This is extreme. coming this this is the line I'm talking about here you can hardly see it but it's on this creature and if this was somebody's picture they'd want to see that they'll want to see that line um, so it's got to be put in it's coming literally to the bottom the corner of his eye there the corner of his eye there and just just above the corner of his other eye so it's coming across just it's going to be about there and just a bit above there if that's okay and then we've got you, you can now use that as a marker we've got a dark dark patch that's yeah it is it's blending with that dark patch there this is becoming darker and darker, isn't it? But that's okay, you know, just go with it. That's it. Right, so this is a good way to get lines in. If you just take your pencil and like like that. Just patching lines down like that. Just so you're holding the pencil quite far up.
I need to get some more white on his nose and some blue in there now. Beautifully white just in here. So I'm going to put that in. That needs to be a lot thinner. Just looking at this. This kind of following the because we put the dark line in there, put this dark line in there, just going up to that with a, a lighter area there, which does have a bit of a creamy look to it, but we can put that in at the end. Okay, now this side is a bit more bluey. Very, very light next to that little line there, and yeah, it's not a straight line, it's slightly bent in. But you can do this with pastels, even if you put a straight line in, you can still get you can still get um, a little bent bit in there. I'm just putting in a very lightest. want to mark out something on the top of his nose there, that, that's got to go there, like that, take the white corner off that, it just goes up to that, that's what I've done, and then this just goes around. shape this bit here. Um, so yeah, this is this is coming around like that. 
doesn't matter if it's white, it's not the right colour, we can go over that. It really is covering it a little bit like that. That's it, and then we'll get the dark patch. Even if you get these angles wrong, like um, some of them do actually, you can redo them with pastel. It's brilliant. And I know you can redo them in um, uh, oil paints, um, but then it's a bit more messy, isn't it? It's um, the more paint you put on, the longer it takes to dry, to wipe it off with a rag, and then try to start all again. With this, you can just go over it. Pastels are really easy, I think, to use. And when you look at um, how other people use these other mediums, I've used very little else. I like charcoal, I like pencil, and I like pastel. Um, I've had a go at oil paints, which I really enjoy, but it, it, it is messy. It does take an awful long time to dry. Um, I use the paint that doesn't uh, make a smell, you know, it doesn't don't get that horrible smell with it. So it's not that bad, is it, to smell with it? Okay, so yeah, so these hairs, they're actually going up like that, across that dark bit there. So um, I will put them in because Useful. Come to come in well. Just got them in a bit. Then as soon as you do that, it's more the colour that we've got on the photo here. As soon as you put those little marks on, the little dots really. Um, I didn't like the lines through there. Just bed it down a bit. I know it looks a bit dark at the moment, but it, it'll be okay. looking there's a little line going across from the bottom of that down there that's it come from that to this much much smaller area that's it Kind of mapped into position now. This needs to be darker all the way through here. If you just step back, you can see. I see what needs to be done there. There's another one I need to be done in up here. I see. And I am doing this in black, but of course it over white. It's going to be grey, which it is on the page already. Really.
Just seen some little white hairs which have popped over the edge. So not very bright. Just tiny little flecks of really brightness. These are really bright. Those are tiny. They're less bright. They're not as high. Gone a bit mad with that. They're down here. finish off doing this bit here. Just put those bit of pinky bits in there. This is a bright pink. This is number 191. Well they're not really pink but I'll just go over them with so this is going over the white and then I'm just touching it with the with the pink. Um, I'll tell you what we're, we're missing a line here. Missing that line down up there. Um, meet, meets up with that. So I'll go over the pink now with the black. Just, it does the job, doesn't it, really? Yeah. It's just darkening these two here a bit. They're a bit bright. So, some blue, I think. Just put some blue in here. So not going hard, so we've got all the fleckiness in there. Let's say do your job. Use that fleckiness. Um, going up because this is the way, this is the direction of the hairs. Going up there. It's got quite a white line on the edge of that blue. Um, it's very, very thin there. Some pink out here. Some cinnamons. Very blue. Right. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use. Um, some of the bright yellow, I think, so try and um, lighten this up a bit here. And it's going over this just to lighten it all up. Okay. Just lift that up. 
serious about Pride Month. Very light touch here. I don't know. Do you want to know what our colours here? Okay, I'm going to stop now and have a rest. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's not been too um, tricky, but take it step by step. We can do anything. I really believe that. Just take it step by step. You can do anything. Trust me. You've just got to have a bit of patience and take it step at a time. If you get stuck with anything, I'll help you. Just ask me, I'll help you. And you can watch the video over as much as you want. Um, oh, you can only see my half my face. Yeah, so if you get stuck, um, I will help you. You can watch the video over as much as you want. And just take it a step at a time and you should be all right. You can do it. I can't wait to see what you produce, I must say. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay then, see you later.